Well, how do you get in there, YouTube? I just keep finding all kinds of interesting things. I thought this one would be worthy of your attention. Uh, now, we've been having uh, these X players and uh, a nice good M uh, 3.8, I believe, that uh, sparked off a plasma release. That was my point with that X player. I knew there'd be a follow up right along with plenty of plasma to come our way. So, to say that X3. Uh, uh, point three wasn't anything to worry about. Uh, well, you know, they always got little buddies to follow. And this is what I wanted to point out on this little graph here. We seem to now, it looks as if the sun has been interrupting communications between the A satellite uh, and Earth. And as you can see here, it's the missing pieces of data. And uh, the missing pieces of data, I believe, is the inability for the craft to send the information back to Earth. The only other explanation is something big, fast, and, and furious went between the satellite and the Earth. Or between the satellite and the sun. Either way, we have missing data. And as you can see, it's probably more likely the event of the X3.3 flare and the M3.8 flare that are causing these interruptions. All right, the first thing when you have those uh, radio emission alerts, the first thing that is affected would be your satellites in space. So we now are looking at a serious enough an R2 event. Uh, that's now communicating with satellites that are actually made to withstand this type of, uh, I wouldn't say abuse, but, uh, or damage, but uh, it certainly could cause the damage. But they're made to, to like turn around and do all kinds of things that kind of get out of its way uh, and protect itself. They have shutdown modes and stuff. But this is not what we're looking at. We're looking at an actual interruption, and there's several. If you move all the way up from the bottom to the top, you can see. Uh, and where the time span is down here, down at the bottom, and you can see where the BZ shoots up, it's at the same time we see the gaps, you know, in the density and the speed and the temp, is where you see the BZ pop up, those are the, uh, the radio emission, the part of the uh, radiation from the radio emission that would cause this type of interruption, you see the spike there and the spike here, the spike here, okay, Along here, all the, follow it all the way up to the chart. Follow it all the way up to the chart. Follow all the way up to the chart. Okay. And so I think the ACE spacecraft uh, out there, the little buddy we depend on, might be experiencing some technical difficulties because of these uh, radio emissions. And like I said, it's probably R2. Um, could reach R3 um, potential out of this if it's messing with the ACE. You know, it's, if it's messing with the ace, and, and these particles don't slow down in space, man. You're talking about a, a, a vacuum, you know, and so these particles don't uh, talk about perpetual motion. They don't have anything to slow them down. So, you know, if this is happening to ace, it's happening to satellites here uh, around Earth, uh, for sure. So, uh, let me uh, go back to show you. Uh, it's also reflective on the longer um, derated maps, too. You can follow the event, so it's not just that one map or error in the data recording. You can see it here, follow it all the way up. Okay, so it just seems like the ACE might be having some problems communicating in in light of all this activity that we have on the sun. Uh, so uh, we may not even have this bad boy in the event of a real solar emergency to to use. So this is why it's important, I think, for people. To use is not not only should you tune in for your daily temperatures and and uh, your weather forecast you know it's going to rain on your head but this is another type of forecast i think the average citizen needs to pay attention to uh the weathermen will never put this up for your your consumption okay they don't want you to know about this stuff they really don't uh because then you'll start asking questions and uh, uh but this is something that I think the average citizen should be paying attention to because if your satellites go out, guess what? You don't get any communications, uh, et cetera, et cetera. We, you know, we can go, go on that rant too. Uh, but there is a, uh, well, there was an alert here. 
uh, CMA update. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. See, we got a type two radio emission. Okay. Also, uh, uh, yesterday we had also a radio burst. It lasted for about two two minutes. But these type of radio bursts that are emitted uh, during these X3s and M3.8s and is those emissions, and that's what you'll uh, are now noticing. But it really takes a lot to really get ACE to react like that because we really need that and others like it up there to work and to function under those conditions. And so to get those type of readings, uh, it's kind of like a real warning to the satellites here on Earth. Again. Uh, so we've got a little small boy rotating into view, but 1890 right here, folks, is the uh, the bad boy to be watching. And uh, 1887 has some uh, potential. Uh, never count the sun out though with filaments. And you know, we had that M3.8 that it was actually more powerful, had more energy potential than the X3 did. You know, with the plasma release. So, uh, you know, and don't always look for this apocalyptic N69 flare, I, you know. Oh, my. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I just really caught, caught my eye. And uh, that the ace might be having some problems out there. And I hope it's not taking anything else down. Oh, uh, also, um, I wanted to uh, maybe touch on the... Uh, the local news here that we have uh, in uh, DeSoto, Iowa, or Des Moines, Iowa, and I'll go ahead and uh, go over to the news site here, and uh, this guy here, Tyler Comstock, he was the one that was shot dead, the 20-year-old kid that was shot dead on ISU campus after a supposed high-speed chase. And they're letting the cops off, and the family has now come out, and uh, and is asking uh, for an investigation that this kid should have never have been shot, and that he would have returned the truck if the cops would have just backed off. They were advised by the dispatchers to back off, and the cops chose not to listen to the dispatchers because they knew where this guy lived. He lived right there in the community, and. Uh, so they could have gone right to this guy's front door. He wasn't going anywhere. Remember, this is Iowa. They didn't need to. They were ramming his truck. They accused him of slamming into an officer once, maybe twice. And they turned this guy's truck into a pile of metal, boxed him in, got out of their cars, and shot the poor man to death. This is police brutality run amok. And the very family of this Tyler Comstock is demanding justice. And they're letting Mr. Uh, I think his name is Adam Christensen, Officer Adam Christensen. You better not pull me over. You know, and any police officers that think they're going to get away with this behavior, you wouldn't get away with this in Europe. The populace, if you were to do that to one of their citizens, would have beat you all to a pulp. On the spot. Guns or no guns. You would have been surrounded by everybody, all the kids, all the adults, and you would have been pounded to a pulp in Europe. The citizens don't put up with this type of behavior from their law enforcement. You know, this stolen stealing a truck does not deserve a death penalty. Oh, but he was driving around. You know, you call it to back off, he would have backed off, he would have backed off. He went he wasn't out there driving like that until you turned on the lights. Understand? He wasn't driving like that until you turned on the lights. And declared an emergency when there was none. It was a civil matter, and you should have butted out like like the dispatchers warned you, cops, and you didn't listen to them. You were ordered to back off, and you failed to do so, and you shot this man to death. Mr. Christensen, you should be fired in disgrace, and anybody that's been supporting you, patting you on the back, or giving you the blue wall, they all should be fired as well. And boy, I tell you what, you Americans out there, and you're letting them do this to your neighbors, shame on you. Shame on you that you allow your local cops to get away with. I see if you ever see this happening, you know, with, with cops going down on people like this anymore, you, you need to question them. Don't let them get away, don't let them seal off the scene. You get in their faces from now on.
and, and boycott 911 and take care of your own affairs. You know, the, calling the cops on civil matters, man, and it, it doesn't warrant death sentences anymore. And this is what we're getting out of our, out of our law enforcement, you know? So uh, you call the cops, you're going to end up dead, no matter what the reason is. They're just there to lock down the situation and put a gun in innocent people's faces and shoot them in the head. Mr. Adam Christensen, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should turn yourself in if you have any balls at all. If you have any balls, go ahead and knock on my door. You know? It's not right. And I will tell you what I think. This is not no threatening going on. I'm just telling you what I think of you. You should be fired, sir. In disgrace. You should have your badge ripped off your chest and kicked out the door. And then they ought to file a, a wrongful death lawsuit and sue you and you'll be their, the family slave for the rest of your life. You'll be making payments to them. And no police organization should bail you out. Period. Disgraceful, officer. I support lawful law enforcement. And I support every police officer that supports the Constitution. Period. This man was innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. So all law enforcement officers you now no longer have the public's blessing to be judge and jury on the spot. You know, you're now going to be forced to enforce the law with a pen and piece of paper. You think you're coming after our guns, you're going to turn your guns in first. You know, that's what I feel. You know, this is, this is you know, and this has been going on all across our nation, folks. And, 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 and here, now it happens in Iowa. And the family is crying a river of tears because of what law enforcement did to them. The family was right there during the whole situation and never once did they say, they even recalled the warrant on the theft on the truck. They could have just backed off and found him and talked to him later. Yet he still got shot in the head. And he didn't start driving that way until he got pulled over, folks. That's my take on it. You know? For real. This poor kid. You guys need to pay this. I mean, money can't make up. Money ain't going to bring him back. That's why this guy also needs to be, you know, maybe even incarcerated. You know, let's put this guy in jail, guys. I, let's not be happy until this officer is in jail. That's that's all we. That's all that needs to be said. If anybody needs a gun pointed at their head and put in a high-speed chase, it's Mr. Adam Christians. I wouldn't even have the grace to call you an officer. Let's get you in a high-speed chase, sir. See if you end up behind bars or not, sir. Let's see if you get to see a judge or not, sir. You know, I will not call an officer, sir. They will call me, sir. For they are to serve the public. So they'll call me, sir, and call my ma my wife, ma'am, and madam. Yes, ma'am. Like the military does to the citizenry. At least they know that they serve us and that we outrank them. Same thing for police. We outrank them, people. Let's not put up with this anymore, period. You know, I know I'm ranting now, but, you know, they just had the, the family on tonight's 5 o'clock news. And, you know, his sister and, and, his, and his brother all in uh, 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 crying rivers of tears on the news. And, and, and these guys on the news don't even have the gonads to support them either to say, yeah, let's let's see what we're going to do some more investigating on this officer. We're going to make sure this guy at least loses his job, if not have to uh, go to jail because he, you know, disobeyed orders, you know. Anyway, guys, if I'm getting on, getting on to 15 minutes on this. So you get a little, uh, uh, a bit of science and a lot of politics and uh, issues. So love you all guys. Take care.